Hey, how's it going, my bros and sisters? My name is Beardapat. Today, I'm going to make a video on how to get started on YouTube. I've been asked to make this video, I don't know how many times. I get this question all the time. How, can you give me some tips on how to get started? I, I think what I always just say is, keep, keep working hard and I'm sure you will succeed. But I thought, not today. I, I wanted to actually give something more constructive uh, some some more help than just that um, I've been doing a lot of streams lately and everyone is keep asking me how do I get started? What kind of tips do you have and I thought okay fine? I'll make it okay I thought about making this video before many times, but I just feel like who am I to, to tell you how to It's not like I know all the answers and I really think everyone has a different answer to the question on how to grow on YouTube So just take this as from my own perspective also know that I don't know everything and just because I say something doesn't mean it's the rule of thumb You know that that's not the case couldn't be further from it and I started YouTube seven years ago So obviously things are different now this video probably won't be relevant for uh, most people watching But maybe it will be interesting. I don't know <laughs> Here we go! First of all, I want to start on the equipment because I think it's this is where most people fail right away. I see so many people get really angry about this one because they bought all this expensive equipment and they, they, they come to me like, where are the subscribers? Where are all the views? I've got, I spent all this money on all this equipment. I always say, don't spend money on equipment. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. And I think a lot of people wait with starting videos because they don't have all the equipment. I think it takes practice to make videos and I think it doesn't hurt to get started with what you have. I didn't have a webcam when I started. I had a fucking... I legit used this microphone. Which I accident accidentally broke. That's my first microphone on the Razer headphones. And it was fine. It really was. It definitely doesn't hurt to have nice quality. Don't get me wrong. But it's not automatically going to make you get subscribers. I'm going to link what I think is a good sort of budget startup in case you're curious of, of what sort of equipment I would recommend uh, if you want to start making my type of videos. And I will, I'll also link my equipment in case you're curious what exactly it is I use. Stand out. <laughs> Personally, I'm very much drawn to, to different things that people do. If I notice a channel doing something I haven't seen before, I'm automatically more drawn to that thing and they, I think it was the same thing for me when I started making videos I did what everyone else was doing I I, I did Call of Duty videos because that's what was uh, popular at the time but that's what made me want to start making YouTube videos because I loved watching it on YouTube and it was really popular back then and I enjoyed making those type of videos but my channel didn't grow from it at all I had like what a couple hundred people watching me and I remember when other YouTubers refer themselves to as, oh, I, I only had a couple hundred back then. I'm like, Nibba, a hundred. I'm so fucking proud of these hundred people that I have. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And I also remember watching all these bigger YouTubers doing the same Call of Duty videos. And I'm like, these guys are fucking terrible. I'm way better than these guys. Why is my channel not growing more? But that's the thing. The big ones have already settled in. You know, it, you're not gonna, it's gonna be hard as hell. You have you have an uphill battle and it wasn't until I started doing something different something that hadn't been done before like the horror videos That's when I started to get an audience that really cared about the content that I was making and, and it was so clear And I really see it myself uh, When my I discover new youtubers, it's always something different. They have something different. What was it? What was it? Dr. Dre said it's easy to make it to the top, but it's twice as hard to stay there You see people on YouTube come and go all the time I, I don't want to throw any names out there, but you you know what I mean. Like, there's a ton of YouTubers that everyone used to watch, and every like, it got so many so much attention, but they just didn't have what it takes uh, to keep their audience. A lot of people sort of get boosted from the algorithm of YouTube. Basically, YouTube recommends certain type of videos that fit what they want to promote. Maybe it's really long videos. Maybe it's videos that get a lot of likes and a lot of this and that and there's always people that abuse that algorithm It's been since I started on YouTube and, and it's still going on I think it's just a thing that will I don't think will ever end and it's really unfair because a lot of big a lot of a lot of youtubers get really big really fast because of it, but basically They go away equally fast 
if you don't have something to maintain your audience with, something more than your shtick of, uh, of making the algorithm happy, then you, your, your lifespan on YouTube is going to be short. That's just how it is. So I'm not really too bothered by, about any of it. I just don't want you, if you want to grow your channel, to be obsessed about the algorithm because that shouldn't be the number one priority. Uh, I personally never try to abuse the algorithm or some shit like that. Honestly, I had no idea what I was doing. Literally, I discovered that 10 minutes videos like a year ago. It's been like, remember the reply girls, you know, they were so fucking popular. They, they got so many views because they, the algorithm promoted their videos in the sidebar all the time. But it's not like anyone is still watching them. Like, oh, I wonder what this, al what, what this boob girl is saying now about this, you know. What I'm getting with this is you need a personality. People, people will find your video, but they're, they're not going to stay unless they care about you as a person. I think YouTube... It's all about personality. At least that's how I see it. And and anyone I watch on YouTube, I watch because I care about their personality. I care about them more than just their content, but also who they are as a person. And uh, that's why I enjoy watching them. And that's why I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy it because it's different than television. You're not just watching this uh, product behind uh, a bunch of producers and writers. You, you're watching just a person speak directly into a camera. And I think that's the beauty of it. I also think that's why so many YouTubers come and go. They forget about this part and, and that's fine. You know, it's not like everything has to be super personal and everything has to be so up. Oh, I love you guys so much. You're my family. YouTube is a hobby and a job at the same time, which can be really hard to balance. I think a lot of people don't realize this, but you get to set your own hours. You get to set your own pace, but it basically means you'll be working 24 seven. Like, it's really hard to turn off YouTube in your brain. I'm always checking videos. How are they doing? I'm always checking stats. I'm always checking comments. What are people saying? What are people thinking? And it's really hard to turn off. It's not like a nine to five job. You go in, you do your job. Okay, now I'm done. Ooh, I can relax. I, I really struggle a lot with this and, and just trying to shut my brain off and okay, now I'm doing this. Now I'm doing that. And that's why I really enjoy having an office because I, I can do my work here and then it, once I'm back home, I can just relax. It, it, it's, I, I guess my advice here is to try and separate it. I treat YouTube with, with a lot of respect because I feel so lucky to be in the situation that I am. I think a lot of YouTubers take, take uh, YouTube very casually. Uh, I'll just upload a video. I need some money, I'll upload a video. Maybe, maybe I'm a little naive for saying that, but I, I always get the question, what happens if you miss a day, Felix? What's the big deal? Who's gonna care? Who, who, it's okay, you don't have to upload all the time. But it's like, I set the schedule for me. I know I can do it. It is my job to do it still. I have to do it, okay? I, I see YouTube as a... It's not gonna last forever, but I might as well make the most of it. Meanwhile, every YouTuber has, has, a, has a, a lifespan. Market yourself. Most YouTubers that you are watching got a helping hand to get where they are. Maybe they don't admit it. Maybe I'm just wrong. Most YouTubers had some helping hand. Maybe, maybe they, uh, maybe their videos were posted on a website, you know, that, that thought, okay, this is a cool video. Maybe you got trending on Reddit, you know, maybe your family member was a YouTuber or maybe a friend of you of, of, of that person was a YouTuber and they helped them. Getting that helping hand on YouTube, it's not essential, but it's a, it makes YouTube easy mode pretty much. To already, the hardest part of YouTube is to establish your very first audience. If you can get that for free from someone else, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's the best. But I see a lot of misunderstanding of this as well, because for example, I did the shout out competition in the past. And uh, for example, Jack was one of them, Ken was one of them. And a lot of people look at them and be like, oh, oh, you got a shout out from PewDiePie. Oh, oh, that's so bullshit. If I had one, I would be big. Fuck you. No, it, that's not how it works. A shout out can only get you so far. It, it, it gets you that, that base audience, maybe. But they're not going to stay unless you're worthwhile staying to. They're not going to care about watching any more videos unless you upload videos, unless you upload videos that people care about. You don't need a shout out and a shout out isn't necessarily going to help you unless your content is interesting. That's just how it is. You see people all the time in my comment section marketing their own YouTube channel. I find it very disrespectful to do that. It annoys the hell out of me. 
because it's basically just ignoring what I worked on and basically just saying, hey, look at me. I do think you should market yourself somehow if you really care about growing your channel. Now, I don't know what the best method is, but everyone has a secret, I'm sure, of how they try to get their channel out there. Maybe something they're ashamed of that they wouldn't admit. I, I think most YouTubers have it. I, for example, used to find commenters on, on videos similar to mine and uh, I would write a private message to them being like, hey, I see that you enjoyed this channel, maybe you will enjoy mine. I know, extremely embarrassing, extremely pathetic, but I used to do it. At least it's not intrusive on someone else's work, okay? So, I if, I recommend marketing yourself somehow, I just don't, don't and, and it's nothing shameful about doing it. But don't be fucking obnoxious and disrespectful doing it. That, that That's my point with that. Next up is don't fucking trust anyone. Growing my channel on YouTube, I've come across so many toxic people. People that just want your audience, your subscribers. Uh, they don't give a shit about you. They'll lie to you. Um, they'll try and manipulate you. I think I'm one of my best skills as a human being is to cut out toxic people. I have very little tolerance for people in general and if I find them to be abusive or disrespectful, I have no problem with cutting out these people in my life. I know some people really struggle with this and I think as a YouTuber, you're just really gonna have to be cut and dry with people. It's just how it is. Networks. You may have heard of networks a lot. I'm, I'm technically signed up with a network still, but I'm not planning to stay with a network. YouTube wouldn't sign with gaming channels. You could not monetize your videos if you were a gaming channel back in the day. It was the worst thing I think that could possibly happen to the gaming community on YouTube because essentially networks got so much power because we were obligated to sign with them. So basically as a gamer you would get these insanely bad deals with networks where they would give you half of your revenue and give you essentially nothing back. Networks still take a huge portion of your revenue if you're a small YouTuber. I still get a lot of people asking me, hey, I'm a YouTuber, should I sign up to the network? I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Or do they increase my CPM, blah, blah, blah. Most likely, they don't. Uh, from my experience, they don't sell ads on your videos. Think about most network, they have like what, thousands of channels in them. Why would they care about your channel? You know, how are they going to focus on all these channels? It just doesn't make any sense. I would not recommend signing with a network if I was a smaller YouTuber these days. That being said, networks definitely help me to a certain degree. But I think as a smaller channel, it's completely useless. They're just going to take a portion of your revenue and give you nothing back. You're not obligated to sign with a network anymore. So I, I would recommend against if you're a smaller channel. Which brings me to my next point, get a lawyer. Don't sign anything without professional over, uh, a professional overlooking what you're doing. I signed contracts that, were, that led me into month long processes of trying to get out of those contracts. It's, it's a lot cheaper to have a lawyer look over the contract and knowing exactly what you're getting yourself into than afterwards get a lawyer to try and get you out of this situation. Get a lawyer and get an accountant if you're if you're making money off YouTube and do it early. I think setting those two things up earlier is better than later. I realize this is a lot of information, but I think I saw this as a sort of me talking to myself in the past uh, and the sort of stuff that I learned through this uh, years of making videos on YouTube. And I try to keep it as uh, actual advice and constructive as possible, but I would like to finish with make YouTube with the right intention. I see so many people wanting to make YouTube videos because they want to get famous. They want to make money, uh, which is all great stuff. And YouTube really is an amazing place for, for that. But make YouTube videos because you enjoy making them. If you don't enjoy making them, you're not going to keep making them. You're just going to fall off at some point and you're going to get frustrated that uh, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be. If you make videos that you enjoy making it, then you can't lose. It doesn't matter if you don't get a lot of subscribers. If, Like, I was equally happy when I had a couple hundred subscribers. I thought that was equally fun just to have some people watching them. If you make videos that you enjoy making, other people will enjoy watching them. I really, really strongly believe in that. So if you're not enjoying making videos, then don't make videos. I hope this was helpful. 
I'm not I'm not sure to be honest if it was uh, But I hope it, it was interesting at least I don't know. I don't know here you go I did the video finally leave a like my sister fisters and stay fisterin <laughs>